Well, what's up, guys? It's your Jimbo here, and today we have a video um, based on comments that I've received on our last couple of videos. So I did the video uh, talking about the weekly to-do list and things to get done if you want to boost up your item levels in the most efficient ways possible. And that was getting done most of the weekly quests, the boss kills, your raids, your vaults. Uh, and then there was that one weekly quest that you wanted to make sure you had opened up prior to doing your vault as it could give you vault gear. Uh, in the comments for that video, we had a lot of questions. I received uh, some DMs on Twitter, tagged on Twitter, plenty of comments in the comments section. A lot of people were curious what the add-on that I was using that gave me the list on the left side of my screen uh, to give me the updates on everything that I still needed to complete for the week. Um, so I decided to make a video here to go over that a little more in depth so that way everybody can be uh, very clear on what it is I'm using to do that because it's not actually an add-on and uh, hopefully to help more people be able to get done their weekly stuff that way. Uh, it's a very nifty thing. And, uh, you know, everybody should be able to use it. So uh, hang out to the end, guys. And uh, we're actually going to open up our vault here in this video, too. So I haven't done my vault uh, yet. I just got home from work. And uh, we're going we're, we're gonna to go through this and then hopefully get something good from our vault here. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, be in-game, right? Because in-game is where you use your add-ons and whatnot. And the second thing is the to-do list is not actually an add-on. And that's where a lot of the confusion is coming from because people are searching CurseForge for the name of what I was using and it's not coming up. So they're stumped, uh, rightfully so. It's actually a weak aura. So the add-on that you need is weak auras, right? So if we go over to Curse Forge here, uh, you'll see we do have the weak auras add-on. You actually can't see it here because the camera's in the way. If we just move this off to the side here. So we do have the weak auras add-on here. And obviously, if you don't have it yet, uh, you can just search for weak aura and it won't come up. Maybe it doesn't come up because I already have it. I'm not sure what the reasoning is there. But if you search for weak auras, or maybe because it's all one word. Ta-da! There it goes. It's just all one word to, to find it there. So if you just search for weak auras, it'll come up here. You can see it's in the top uh, downloaded um, add-ons for the game. Pretty much, if you're, if you're the level of player who is trying to download add-ons for the game, then... You're the level of player who can make use of weak auras, right? Um, it's a very, very, very good add-on. It is a little complex to use at first, but these days you can just import other people's weak auras. You don't gotta worry about writing your own uh, strings of code and stuff like that to make them work. If you wanna get more in depth with the add-on, you can. You can learn how to do that, that's perfectly fine. Um, that's how we get really cool stuff like the Tamas to-do list. and. Uh, and it helps a ton of people. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the weak auras add-on installed. And then the second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you are Googling for uh, Tomas Dragonflight Helper. Uh, so this person had a similar thing back in Shadowlands, apparently, right? I, uh, I wasn't using it back then. I didn't start playing more seriously again until the end of Shadowlands. So, you know, I took I, I take big long breaks from World of Warcraft sometimes. We all we all need those uh, those health checks sometime. Um, but it gained a lot of popularity here, it seems anyway, with Dragonflight. So a ton of people are using this now, and everybody should because it's a it's a really great weak aura. So the way you're gonna want to make sure you have this in here is, and I'll actually, I'll disable mine currently, so that way, you know, we can start from fresh. So you can backslash uh, WA, that'll bring up your weak auras menu, or you can go into your normal add-ons menu and, and get to it from there. Uh, so you'll see, we currently have loaded the Dragonflight helper, and we also have our monk UI, and I get my UI from Whiskies. Uh, we did have some questions on my UI, uh, in the comments too, so we can cover that here real quick. 
Whiskies is another content creator. I saw one of his videos randomly and I loved his UI. So uh, he actually has a video out and I'll link it in the description below. He actually has a video out. One second. He actually has a video out that goes over his complete UI setup and he has one of these setups for every class in the game. And I use it for every class in the game. It's fantastic. I love how clean it looks. And it, it, for me, it puts all of the information in a very clean spot where I can see it easily. So if you like the UI, look up Whiskies on YouTube and uh, look for his UI video. It's very, very, very good. Um, and then here we have the Dragonflight Helper. So I'm actually just going to uh, get rid of this one, right? So we'll just right click and we will delete. It says delete children. I don't know, this seems a little monk s but you know, hey, there it is. Uh, so it is currently gone. You can see it's gone off of my side list and all of that, so we can start fresh here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the website and you'll see here, you have copy uh, import string. This is gonna be what you're looking for here. So you literally just have to click that button. The import string gets copied. Go back to your game, click the import button here at the top and just paste it into this big text box here. It's gonna look crazy when you do. Uh, it's gonna tell you that it has a bunch of uh, exceptions and stuff. It says, make sure you trust the person who sent it. Uh, obviously this is just a warning for, uh, you know, they're not responsible if for some reason this person put something into their coding that messes up your game. Um, I think this person has had this weak aura going uh, again, since Shadowlands and tons of people use it, there's never been a problem that I can find anywhere about it. I think it's pretty safe to use, though. Again, I mean, if something happens, it, was, it, it wasn't me. You all know that song, right? So we're going to click the import button, and there it goes. So it starts out, uh, obviously, anytime you, if you're not familiar with weak auras, you won't know this. Anytime you add a weak aura and you're on this weak aura screen here it's going to have everything enabled all the time uh, once you close this window it's going to limit itself down to just the information that uh, you need or that it thinks you need uh, based on your professions and stuff like that i have uh, mining and skinning so it automatically shows me that i still need to get these two things for mining and skinning I still have six. Uh, I haven't played the character, obviously, and this is a new week. Um, I've been focusing on leveling up a demon hunter, so I've, uh, I've been kind of slacking on this character, honestly. I did do my raids and everything, but... So, uh, it's, it shows you everything here that you need to do, again, for the week. Now, if we go back into the week aura menu, you'll see in the displays, and in the, you can change all kinds of settings in here. Can, there's all the conditions for why things show up you can go in and you can change all kinds of options on what shows up, what doesn't show up, where it shows up, when it shows up, all kinds of stuff. Um, I haven't even gone through that list completely yet myself. Now I do usually scale it down a little bit because I don't need it uh, as big as I used to because I have most of it memorized now. I just need it at a quick glance to look at and see you know, what it is I'm doing. And if you leave it here in the default position, when you join a party, it does overlap with the party frames and stuff. So, you know, you, you can move it up and down with these arrows here and put it into a, you know, somewhere that is that is good for you. I normally shrink it down pretty small and then I move it like just down below, like, um, you know, like right about there. So when you're in a five man party, you can still kind of see what's going on. Um, <clears throat> you can, uh, you can change it around however you want but that is the dragonflight helper the to-do list uh, that i was talking about in the other video and now as you go and complete these tasks it will update these right away so as soon as you kill your world boss for the week it's going to tick off the world boss uh marker there and then it'll disappear off of the off of the thing there and also it tells you when the feasts i'm going to actually just make it kind of large here so everybody can see it very clearly on the screen there we go so <laughs> it tells you what your renown is as you can see i've been slacking with my renown uh, i did get a uh, true friend with raytheon to get the cape so i am the black prince um, it tells you when your feast timers are it tells you all of this information here so 
it gives you everything you need. Again, like as you keep doing this week after week after week, you won't need quite as much uh, information on here and you can scale it down as much as you need to make sure that you know, you're only only cluttering your screen uh, with, with what you absolutely need there. So that's that. That is the to-do list. And again, let me, let me bring up their page here. Uh, this is who does it right here. This is uh, I, uh, them. I'm, I don't know if they have a Twitter. I'm sure they do have a Twitter. Um, but they have a ton of other things to do in here too. Leveling packs. Uh, you know, I, I downloaded the leveling pack just to kind of uh, see what it was about. And like it tells you all kinds of crazy stuff through the week or it. Like, do you have your food buff? Do you, you know, do, or do you have your guild buff? Do you have a party buff? Do you have all this other stuff? So that way you can level up as fast as possible. Now, obviously, some of these are going to be a little out of date because we're not doing these things anymore, right? But we're not doing Anduin, Rin. I guess if you're going back to do that content, then this might be helpful for that. But this is a good account to keep a track of because uh, they, you know, they are putting out new content uh, for their week auras as new content for the game comes out. So keep them in mind. Find them on Twitter. Give them a follow. I don't know if they stream. If they do, give them a follow. Um, but definitely bookmark this page and have it have it here ready to go because it is very, very, very useful. Um, I think that's all. I think that's all we really need for that. If you want to look at the rest of my add-ons that I have, it's really not that many. I don't use a ton of add-ons myself. Um, I think we saw the, saw the list here. Uh, so I use APR when I'm leveling up a new character, deadly boss mobs, details. Now, details, plater, uh, shadow and light, shadow unit frames, um, those are, and I use ELVUI. Um, those are all, I use them all because um, they're all a part of Whiskey's UI setup. So um, he uses those. And actually, I, can, I mean, I can show you real quick his setup here. <clears throat> If you go over to uh, YouTube here and you go to Whiskey's channel videos, uh, you can go down to his UI setup. Here it is. Sorry if that was loud. Uh, and you go down to the... Why did it go to... There it goes. I went to an Asmund Gold video there for some reason. Uh, if you go down into the description here, you'll see that he has everything uh, that you need to set it up. So where to download ELV UI, and then all of the profile settings that you need for his UI, if you like the way that that looked on screen. And the, the main important one being, if you go to the weak aura collection, you'll see that he has here all of the different weak auras for all of the different classes. Um, so you have a special one for the Empowered Bar. You have Demon Hunter, Evoker, Rogue, Warrior, Druid, Paladin, shabba -da -ba -da -ba, all of them down here. Um, so if you like that layout, that's how you get that set up. Now, the fun part. <clears throat> now that we've talked about the work, um, let's reap the rewards, huh? Let's see what we get out of this here vault that we have. I'm going to actually turn off the to-do list right now just to... Um, and I'll worry about because it looks like they've done an update so there's some resizing and playing around that I have to do with the thing so I'll set that up again later um, let's open up our vault so I did two mythic bosses in the raid um, I didn't do a lot of mythic dungeons this week because I was focused on the demon hunter and I don't think I did a lot of PvP either to be completely honest uh, maybe enough to open up one, uh, one slot so let's see let's take a look and see what our item levels are currently looking at i'm at 390 um and if we're looking for an upgrade obviously we'd want a, a piece of tier um probably in the chest slot if i had to take a guess though uh, we do have some boots that need upgrading too that's definitely a thing our boots are low our our belt is significantly low actually at 379 that's definitely a thing that we have to work on there. So maybe we're helping. We're, so we're helping, hoping for a belt, uh, a decent one-handed weapon, or a piece of tier. 
that would be preferably in the shoulder or chest slot, I, I guess. Let's take a look here. No whammies. No whammies. Okay. That's a 402. That's a 402 on the on, on the belt. We needed that. Oof. Jeez, yeah, I mean. Oh, uh, wow. We actually have some choices here, huh? I'm pretty sure Fist of the Grand Summoner is like our best weapon. Though at 395, I mean, it's nothing really to write home about. The ring is of no use to us. Obviously, we already have the uh, we have the tier head already in a higher item level, so that doesn't help. So yeah, it's got to be the from seventy nine to four hundred two. That's I mean that's got to be the choice, right? As much as I would love this one handed weapon, though. This has got to be better. It's got to be a better choice, right? Yeah, it's got to be a better choice. All right, here we're gonna we're committing, committing in three, two. Okay, yeah, yeah let's, do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. That's it. Yep, that's that's it. What else are we gonna see here? We got ugh, mythic eight. That's that's pathetic. Mythic eight. Okay. Well, hey, we're gonna focus on running some more. Uh, we hey, we did get a jade serpent. I mean, jade serpent's not all that bad. Um, Jade Serpent's not a bad way to start the week off. So let's put on our new item here. So we have the 402 Fuse Shale Waistband. It's a pretty significant upgrade in item level. Up to 392. We get to go up two item levels because of that. I am not mad at all. Look at this here. We did a... Uh, <laughs> on our heroic raid, we had no... No dagger users. So I just I just won the dagger. Unfortunate. It feel, feels bad to get drops for um, classes that aren't even participating. But hey, uh, I'm going to disenchant it, I guess. What more can I do? Guys, that's all I got for today. I just wanted to go over that, and I wanted to make sure everybody understood what it was that I was using because there was a lot of questions about it. And again, hey, that video popped TF off. It, that video went nuts. I've never had a video do that well. Obviously, you can look at all my videos, and I really appreciate that, guys. Appreciate everybody watching that video. I appreciate all the comments and all the likes and all of that stuff. Um, you guys are amazing. And, uh, hey, more content to come soon. Probably some content with the Demon Hunter. Uh, the Monk, hey, I, I feel like I've played it a ton. I've played it through the end of Shadowlands. I've played it through, you know, Dragonflight here, and I just kind of need something new. Uh, it does feel sort of kind of similar because I'm going from leather wearing two hand you know, or dual wielding uh, weapon user to a leather wearing dual wielding weapon user. So, but I get the double jump. That's got to be something, right? I get I beams and double jumps. That's that's significant enough for me. I'll catch you guys later. I appreciate everybody for hanging out. Adios, muchachos.